So tonight we are on the low cost beer advent calendar. It's a, I tell you what, it's a real trek doing two calendars at a time. Enjoyable. It's a good excuse to get drunk. Well, not drunk, but you know, have a beer. So yeah, day 15. I'm not, I don't know what's coming. There you go. The klaxon has sounded. I'm doing a review. It's funny, you know, because it, uh, it just makes me, it just makes me laugh that YouTube is sending me a bloody notice to say that I'm doing a review. I'm online. I mean, I know I'm online. I don't need YouTube to tell me. That'd be so funny. So anyway, day 15. Let's see what awaits. Is it a bottle? Is it a can? It's a can. I can tell that because it's got no plastic on it. Oh, this is snazzy. Aha. Uh -huh. So, from Brew York. It is Brew York, isn't it? Yeah. The Travelling Taxi. Let me read it because I can't read it. So it's an English pale ale, 5.7%. And obviously it's got the writing on the back. It tells you the hops and the malts and that. And quite snazzy. Now these fellas make some nice stuff. Ah, yeah, they've got a l I've noticed that they did a, a bit of a thing with, um, what's his name? The Real Ale Craft, whatever his name is. Craft Guide, or I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> It flashed up on, it flashed up somewhere last week that he'd met uh, the people from New York. But anyway, <clears throat> him and his wife. Ah, that's him, yeah. So, I don't know his second name. I, I only know him as Real Ale. Not a bad name though, eh? Good evening, Real. What is it, the, the low cost ones and heads? It's probably just the fact that I can't pour, pour a pint for the love and the money. So. Definitely a hint of citrus. Hazy pour. Hazy, I would say golden pour. And a, a stonking head again. Not as big as the An Anspach and Obde. They are the kings of heads. Yeah, they've got some head on them, little fellas. So, yeah. I'll, I'll... Oh, I need to read that again. Didn't understand that for a second. You don't see the old... Peters, what you see in pubs. Did the, there was their typo there, the old Peters. I've had another email, that's probably telling me I'm, I'm, I'm online again. They are crap, aren't they? companies <coughs> youtube barber <clears throat> so yeah i had this i had one of theirs for the 12 beers of christmas and it was really nice and they do they do make a nice range of beers i've had one from morrison's as well that they make and uh nice artwork on the can gotta be fair so english pale ale Oh, bless you. After Christmas, that's, that is a lovely tasting beer. Lovely, subtle, juicy citrus um, taste to it. Oh, that is, that, that's, a, that's a hit, the spotter, that is. Very nice. And I must admit, the, the Christmassy beer I had from Blue York was really good on taste as well. And again, let's be fair, most beers are decent, aren't they, in some way. Unless you pick a beer 
that's not your cup of tea. I don't like, I'm not keen. I'm, I don't mind sours. It's those sours that, are, that, that taste like wine, but they're a sour. Uh, there was one the other week, Duchess de Bourgogne. I had that and it, it was totally rancid to me. Pretty much like the two parties I'm brewing ones. Um, and that was like a, done in a wine barrel. Bitters these days, it, it's funny, you know, uh, the trends are changing so much. Is that the Green King one, the festive Green King? You see, in Ireland, they've got a different box. They've got a, a much better box than we have in England. If it's the 12 bottle Green King one, that's not a bad price, really. Two Rocking Rudolphs and uh, an XX Mild, I think. My daughter's actually bought me. A f um, one of each from Green King themselves from their website. Yeah, yeah. I do keep my eye out. I mean, she's already she'd already bought this. Otherwise, I'd, I'd you know I'd, I'd got it just for the Rocking Rudolph. But um, I mean, I, I still haven't found Shepherd Neem's uh, Christmas ale, but I don't think this year I'm going to get it. And I'm not paying silly prices. To, you know, I'm not paying for a case when I don't need a case. Unless I get some money from somewhere that, and I feel flush. But that doesn't happen very often. So, yeah, decent head on it. You know, you can't fault the head, can you? At least it's not like yesterday, where the head was absolutely ridiculous, you know. <clears throat> and a good tasting beer. No, if you go on Green King's website, you see, you can do a buy, you build your own box set, and they've got like twenty four beers to choose from, and you can get one of each, or you can get as many as you want. Good evening. So, this one is lowcostbeer.com. This one is from adventurebeer.com. Adventure Beer is all East Midlands beers, Nottingham, Derby, Leicestershire, and a bit of Lincolnshire. Uh, that one cost 75 quid, and it was free delivery, but you have to live in a certain radius. Uh, so if you live down south, you'd be paying 8 99 delivery. But to get all 24 beers from Nottinghamshire, etc., it's not, you know, sometimes it's worth paying that for the, you know, for the delivery. This fella was 45 quid and it was free delivery. But there's the chance that some of these might be short day, might be out of day, it might be bankrupt stock. You know, it's um these this one will will is if you bought one of these, you would be drinking the same as me every day. This one maybe not. Yeah, the glass. Uh I got the glass in a I bought the Discovery box. So the Discovery, I asked them last year, I said, don't you do a mixed case? Because I don't really want so many of, you know, I just want buy one of each. And they, they said they couldn't do it. And then he emailed, emailed me to say, we've actually bought out a Discovery case now. So 12 different beers. And the Christmas ale was missing off it. And I thought, oh, fuck that. That's the one I want. So, um... I bought the Discovery case with 12 different beers in. Most of them are behind me on here. You can see all the St. Peter's behind me. Um, and then I bought the Christmas ales in a gift pack. So two, two Christmas ales and um, the St. Peter's glass, which is buried there at the moment, but yeah, for nine quid. So I think it was like 27 quid for the case, which wasn't bad at all, really, for 12 beers. Nine quid and plus delivery. But I think you have to pay 70 quid or more deliver for free delivery. So it's not cheap in that respect, you know. So you, you're stuck with paying a fiver for delivery. But, you know, there's some... St. Peter's, they've got some box-ticking beers. Even some of their older beers, their best bitter is quality. Their mild is absolutely outstanding. 
I drank it and I thought, this is going to be crap, but I'll drink it. Drank it and I thought, fucking hell. It was amazing. It was a really top class beer. And obviously the plum porter, you know, old style porter. And they have got they have got a real quality range of beers. Yeah. And the glass, you know, it's it's not bad glass. I mean, I've had it in my dishwasher and it's it's not broke yet. <clears throat> I put some blue monkey glasses in my dishwasher and all of, I had about four and all of them broke in the dishwasher. Wow, well, 10 minutes in, I'm slipped off of the glass. That's what you get for yakking. A lovely, juicy, citrusy drink. Brew York, for those people who have just come in, it's the Travelling Taxi. 5.7%. And I've got to say, I rate these fellas. They make some really nice beers. And to say it's classed as a pale ale, or oh, a DDH pale ale, Say it's only a pale ale, really nice, good tasting. Nice, the aroma is subtle now, but the taste is still really nice. And for people who um, don't like the citrusy, in your face citrus, this is definitely that sort of beer. You know, it's more juicy, it's not a slap in the face citrus. And probably one of the biggest one of the biggest known brands that have come out of the low cost beer so far. There's been quite a few randoms uh, in the box so far, at least. Yes, I think I might do a third review. Wife's cooking cakes. I'm busy. I'm doing stuff in the kitchen as well. I've got me uh, stuff on the go. So I'm going up the house and I'll be cooking dinner. Can't beat it after a day at work, can you? Although I might have belly pork. The, the, the head chef at work, this this lady, and uh, it's funny, you know, you look at her and you think, uh, she's just had a baby, and she looks very plain Jane, and she added me as a friend, and, uh, yes, the in the, we used to have a real ale shop round the corner from us on, in Nottingham City Centre, and it was called Real Ale, you know, they didn't mess about with names, and um, you could go round there. It is. It's, it's, it's really nice. And you could go round. My dad used to bring home these little um, about little plastic barrels of beer. And he'd be necking it. And he could drink, you know. I mean, I, I can drink a bit. But he was a big drinker. But he liked his barley wine and that stuff. Not good for your head. Especially the strong stuff, obviously. Although these days, we we as as a drinking population tend to drink more stronger beers than in the old days, because of the fact that you look you look now what the strength of the beers. In the old days, four percent, five percent would have been top notch strength. Nowadays, bloody hell, fourteen percent and above. You know, so in them days. I wonder what a barley wine was back in those days. Uh, maybe 6%. I don't know. It's, you know, it's a long, long time ago. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to some beer festivals this year. I'm looking forward to doing some beer brewery tours as well. Um, back to theme parks, brewery tours, and certainly beer festivals. And going a bit further afield as well, not just sticking to Nottingham. I'll drag the wife with me, she can drive, and we'll go a bit further out, you know. And even if we have to, I mean, I'm looking at those, those, you know, them holidays in the sun, the £15 holidays. They're never fucking 15 quid. But if you can get a holiday for three or four days, for about, for three or four of you, for about 80 quid, that's fair play. It's cheaper than going in a hotel. Yeah, back in the pubs. You know, there's a few pubs round about near me that are really nice pubs. Little Mike, there's a micro pub on my doorstep just up the road. There's some good pubs in 
both Arnold and Sherwood, because I, I live in Sherwood, there's some good pubs in Sherwood as well, and just to get out and uh, probably do sneaky beer reviews in the pub, as long as no one's looking at me, because I feel like I couldn't. Talk, you know, it's all right talking in the shed to the camera, but you know when I'm outside, I feel like right twat. I do. Although I am, I am getting slightly braver. But and then you see these theme park vloggers, and they're there walking around theme parks, talking, talking to themselves, you know, about the rides, and people are looking at them, going. <clears throat> Yeah, I just couldn't do it. Couldn't do it to myself. So, definitely going to do a third review. Sod it, eh? The good thing is, the one in Nottingham, Robin Hood Beer Festival, at that, I, I've drank beers 14% um, ABV. Fucking hell. You have a third. And uh, it's like five tickets for a third. And, uh, or four or five tickets, something like that. Might have been half. But anyway. And you're drinking it. And you know as you're drinking it, you think, shit. That's it, isn't it? And, and you, you feel quite sober before. And you're coming away, you think, oh, fucking hell. And you're holding on. And, uh. And I'm deadly because I've always been the same. I, the first, I, 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 I have a look at the beers that are a certain flavour. I'm the same. Oh, I go to the strongest beers first. And then I get walloped. And then I'm going home early. I mean, one year I went to the beer festival, Robin Hood. And I was mixing um, high uh, ciders. Like nine percent ciders with nine percent beers, steaming, absolutely steaming. God knows how I got home. <laughs> and I, I'm I'm still the same now. You know, I'm like a kid in the sweet shop. I see the I see the stuff that's the strongest, and I'm thinking that's my sort of stuff. I'll have one of them. You see the stuff at four percent, and you think I'm not drinking that shit. You know. <clears throat> I try to get drunk most days, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> no. Um, I mean, New Year's Eve. I think this Christmas, you can see already what the government are going to do. Oof. Yes, ciders. Yeah, it's not good. But I can see. Yeah. I mean... I've been at work, I was at work one year doing Britain in Bloom, back in the good old days of the council, and we're doing the carpet beds, and these carpet beds are on a bank, you sat on a bloody ladder, and uh, you put in, like, one bed has got 20,000 plants in, and it's basically, they have designs in the bed that, with writing in, and, every, and it's, it's not like at Skegness where they paint it in, it's all done with plants, you know, about 20,000 plants a bed. So we're there. One of the bosses comes on and says, pulls up with a crate. It says, it's a little beer. Get some down you. And uh, I mean, nowadays you'd be sacked for that. But in them days, fucking hell, we're drinking. And then we're on this ladder trying to plant. And you pissed out your fucking head trying to plant. Great days. I wasn't even a proper drinker then, you know. I'll probably drink two or three times a year at that stage, but in the middle of summer, oh. I should be I should be doing some uh, quite a few reviews this Christmas. Depends when the wife falls asleep. She falls asleep, she don't know. So I uh, uh, come down the beer room, do a beer review, or in the kitchen, you know, because it's warm in the kitchen. It's not so warm down here. But yeah, I'm hoping. I mean, I've got my totally brewed uh, box set, and uh, that starts on. Christmas Day, and it's seven days, and uh, so one live review a day doing that, so I'll end these, doing these live reviews, and I'll be on to that, but it's all good fun, isn't it, this review is not showing up till tomorrow morning, I think it's not 20 minutes, I think it's about 18 minutes, 
or 17 and then it it seems to bypass YouTube's trigger and goes on to the next morning. So infuriating. Because a 20 minute video doesn't take that long to... Um... Yeah, them bloody gins. Oh, some of them were, some of them are nice and some were vile. There was a Christmas gin and it had myrrh and, myrrh and scents, frankincense and whatnot. It was fucking horrible. Yeah. So, I'll end this review and then go to the next review. So, this was, for me, an absolute cracker of a beer. Um, probably the best one so far from the low-cost calendar. <laughs> The head wasn't overly massive. You, you want one of my speeches? Fucking hell. <clears throat> I'd slag so many people off that no one would like me anymore. <clears throat> Five point, yeah, seven percent. And uh, yeah, brew your quality beer. Juicy, citrus, good flavour, good ABV throughout. Really nice. I enjoyed it. Anyway. It would be funny. <laughs> I do jokes to people and uh, and they don't get it. And you're like, fucking hell. Dog's good, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He still runs around like a twat when he's had a shit. And he keeps kamikaze in me. Between the bear room and the house, there's a dark patch. A little bastard shits on the path and I'm walking in it. Not good. Uh, out of five, for me, this, an outstander. 4.5 out of 5. Quality bit of a uh, bit of beer. And I do like these Brew York fellas. Make some good beers. And you can't fault the artwork, can you, on that can? Yeah, better than the standard stuff. Right, thanks for watching. It is, it's really nice. Totally enjoyed it. And uh, next review. <sighs> Hopefully not too strong. Cheers. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Or in about three minutes.